Let's look at uh, how to create a user account on Access Server. We are also going to look at the user experience when they log in or to try to connect to Access Server for the very first time. At the time of this recording, our version of Access Server is 2.11.3. In order to create a user account, you need to expand user management on the menu bar and go to user permissions. As you can see, I already have some users created, but in order to create a new user, scroll down to the bottom of the list and you can see a field that you can type a user account. Now I'm going to go ahead and type a new user account here. Emma is going to be our uh, user. Let me go ahead and type that. And then we need to choose what group Emma is going to belong to. Emma is part of the sales team, so I'm going to choose a sales team for the group. Now, when it comes to more settings, uh, under more settings column, you can click on this icon and you have access to more uh, configuration option. Emma is set up as a default uh, for the authentication method. If you have SAML or LDAP or anything else enabled, you can choose any of those, but we don't have anything here right now. So local or default is the authentication method. The next thing is multi-factor authentication if you want to enable it or disable it, you can leave, uh, you can choose that here. Now we're going to create a password for Emma. Let me go ahead and type that. And the next thing is that if we want to allow password change through the client web server, we can uh, click yes or default or no. And then also if you want to have the password strength to be checked, we can select that here. If you want to give a client an a static IP address, so we can select use a static here and type the IP address here. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave it as dynamic. Access control by default NAT is set. If we want to use uh, routing, we can choose routing. Either one, if we want to give a specific access control to this user, we're going to type the uh, IP subnet here. The next two options, if you want to enable them, you can enable here, allow server side um, access or all private clients. And then the next two, uh, VPN gateway and DMZ setting. If you have DMZ settings, click on yes and type the IP address. Otherwise, uh, you'll be done with creating this user. Once you're done, you can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on save settings. Then update running server, of course. So as you can see, uh, the account is created. Emma's account is here. Now, if you want to give admin uh, permissions, you can select this box, allow other login, this box and then deny access, or uh, if at any time you want to delete, you can select those. Now, Emma as a user has two uh, way of connecting. Either you as an administrator can send the profile by going to user profiles and click on a uh, new profile button. Um, everything is set. You can just click on create profiles. And as you can see, the profile is downloaded. Uh, you can send it to Emma. Emma just double click and can import the profile into her Connect app, and then click on Connect. The first time, she needs to type password, so we're going to do password and cl click OK here. As you can see, MI is connected. The second option is uh, you send the client the address of the web UI, and the client or user can access herself and download the profile. So we send the IP address to Emma. Emma is going to open up another browser here, type the IP address, and then hit enter. Here she needs to type her username and password. Uh, let me go ahead and type that uh, Emma here and then password. And then click to sign in. As you can see, now she has the option of downloading the Connect app based on her operating system. She can download profile management or change her password. Now, if she wants to download the Connect app, she can uh, choose based on her operating system. Here, obviously, she uses Windows, so we can click on this. And as you can see, the package is downloaded. Double click on the file to install the Connect app. Um, I'm going to fast forward through this part and come back when it's uh, done. OK, the file is installed. And now, since installed again on the portal, if the user needs to change the password, click on Change Password. Otherwise, click on this link to download the profile. Once downloaded, double click on the profile, and it's going to be imported into the Connect app. So click on OK, and then we're going to verify the information. We're going to click on Connect. This is going to take a few seconds. We need to type the password here and click OK. 
and then it's going to connect to the access server. And here we go, we're connected. So in this video, we saw how to create uh, a user account on access server, and uh, we saw the user experience when they log into the portal and download the Connect app and download their profile. Thank you.